Nameless in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless I don't wanna be one of the nameless I'ma wake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. Continues to count down as we are 19 days away from the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And in your main event tonight, the almighty Bobby Lashley's United States Championship opponent for WrestleMania will be determined. We are live from the TD Garden in Boston and coming up in your main attraction, Tyler Bate, Walter, these two former NXT United Kingdom champions will battle it out for the right to challenge Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship on February 26th, Sunday night at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. We are set to kick things off with what has really become a grudge match in the mind of this man, the defiant loudmouth, L.A. Knight. Well, it was earlier today that LA Knight took to Twitter and he had this to say. He said, I have not forgotten about the fact that Dolph Ziggler cost me a chance to fight for the world title at Elimination Chamber. An opportunity he fumbled, by the way. Tonight, I take out Dolph and show why I deserve a spot on WrestleMania. LA Knight, of course, referring to the SmackDown Rumble about a month back where the final two men were LA Knight and Dolph Ziggler. And in that matchup, Dolph Ziggler eliminating LA Knight and moved on to fight Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship a couple of weeks ago in Anaheim at the Elimination Chamber. So even though LA Knight was in the Elimination Chamber match on that night, came up short for whatever reason, he has targeted Dolph Ziggler. And I think it's all for a chance to prove himself, as he mentioned, for a spot on the grandest stage of them all in a couple of weeks' time. And his opponent from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in. 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler. Well, here comes the show off. Dolph Ziggler back in action. And as we mentioned, Ziggler went one-on-one -on -one with the revolutionary Seth Rollins back on January 22nd in a World Heavyweight Championship match. Came up short on that night. So does Dolph Ziggler have a path? Empty-handed on the road to WrestleMania. That's what all things lead to here on Raw and SmackDown, especially with WrestleMania 19 days away. Saturday night, February the 25th. Sunday night, February the 26th. Raymond James Stadium, Tampa Bay, Florida. Cannot wait to get to our grand finale, WrestleMania. But here we go. Tonight in Boston, we're kicking things off with the show-off. Dolph Ziggler versus the defiant LA Knight. I want to thank you for joining us here tonight for Universe Mode Episode 92. What a road it has been since last March, and things are going to continue here month after month right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel here in Universe Mode. Be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. As we hit 1,000 subscribers, we will be offering channel member exclusive content, which will feature house shows from Universe Mode and all different types of content. So you want to make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as we kick off Friday Night Smackdown with LA Knight and the show off Dolph Ziggler. And LA Knight again, targeting Dolph Ziggler tonight. Still remembers about a month back when Ziggler tossed him over the top rope in the SmackDown Rumble. LA Knight, of course, as we mentioned, was a member of the Elimination Chamber match, which was inevitably won by Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre will face Seth Rollins in the main event of WrestleMania Saturday for the World Heavyweight Championship. But LA Knight, for whatever reason, looks at Dolph Ziggler as the main course of action that caused him to not have the chance to be the World Heavyweight Champion heading into WrestleMania. Some can obviously argue that fact, but we're not going to sit here and argue with the results LA Knight is producing in the ring right now. Ziggler's the one lying on his back, looking up at the floor, looking up at the ceiling, we should say, of the TD Garden. It's still to come tonight here. 
Tyler Bate, who was victorious against Santos Escobar last week in a rematch, will go one-on-one -on -one with the former NXT United Kingdom champion as well, the man who held that title for 870 days, the undefeated ring general, Walter. One-on-one -on -one tonight in your main event. The winner's moving on to fight Bobby Lashley on WrestleMania Sunday. And Dolph Ziggler there with that Famouser on LA Knight. Now heads up to the top rope. Ziggler starting to mount some offense in your opening bout tonight. LA Knight on spaghetti legs. Here comes the show off with a crossbody. And Dolph smart to go into the cover. Knight is down, but Knight gets the shoulder up. Every man on the Raw and SmackDown roster is looking to find their way to WrestleMania. Will either of these men end up on those nights, on those cards, in Tampa Bay, Florida? Only time will tell, but a win tonight can certainly move you one step closer to finding a spot on the grandest stage of them all. And of course, coming up on February the 8th, our next Universe Mode event is a live premiere, Saturday night's main event. We're gonna run down the whole card later tonight. But as we mentioned, we're gonna find out the United States Champions number one contender, but on Saturday night's main event, we're gonna find out Monday Night Raw's Pete Dunne, his Intercontinental Championship number one contender on Saturday night's main event. It'll be Ilya Dragunov versus Big E, one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever. More on that coming up later tonight as LA Knight, nice back elbow there. Like him or not, LA Knight produces results inside the squared circle. Drops another elbow in the heart of Dolph Ziggler. Something we normally see Dolph do, but LA Knight's got it in the repertoire as well. Into the cover he goes, gets the two, but Dolph Ziggler able to push him off, and the matchup rolls on. LA Knight continuing the offense over Dolph Ziggler here. Of course, as we mentioned, Drew McIntyre was the winner of the Elimination Chamber match a few weeks ago. He will challenge Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship on WrestleMania Saturday. Gotta wonder if Dolph Ziggler, who came up short a few weeks back at the Chamber, is gonna be looking to get another shot at the World Championship after WrestleMania. A win here tonight could certainly do some favors for the show off and putting him next in line. LA Knight, on the other hand, he's had a couple of run-ins with Drew McIntyre, neither of them have worked out for LA Knight, and tonight might not be working out either. A super kick, but Dolph Ziggler out of awareness, and nice reaction right there by Dolph, was able to hit that super kick, but unfortunately way too close to the ropes. Not able to get the pinfall there, and LA Knight was saved by the ropes, and that may have cost Dolph Ziggler ultimately in this matchup. Meanwhile, Ziggler's going up, and LA Knight's looking to turn his lights out for good here on Friday Night SmackDown. And into the cover goes LA Knight. Ziggler down and out. Dolph Ziggler able to get the shoulder up. And we have got a good one here, kicking us all from Boston. Not sure if Ziggler's opportunity to win this matchup might have passed him by the wayside after that super kick failure, but LA Knight is continuing the offense. Dolph Ziggler is down and out right now, and I don't know if Dolph's got much left in the tank. I mean, where is Dolph at mentally? We haven't mentioned that. Where is he at mentally after losing that matchup against Seth Rollins a few weeks ago? That was his opportunity to not only win the World Championship, but main event WrestleMania, so... What is going through the mind of the show-off tonight? But right now, it's just to be in survival mode. As LA Knight has got his eyes locked on Ziggler. Ziggler's going up, and Ziggler's going down. Back into the cover. And LA Knight picks up the victory here on SmackDown. Well, Ziggler certainly gave it his all. That super kick landed on the money. But LA Knight was saved by the ropes. And LA Knight is walking away at the TD Garden here in Boston with a victory over the man he targeted personally, Dolph Ziggler. Gotta wonder what is next for the defiant LA Knight. 19 days away from WrestleMania. Are we gonna see that man walking down the aisle way at the show of shows in Tampa Bay, Florida? Here is your winner, LA Knight. Well, a big win to kick us off here on Friday Night SmackDown. Still much more action to come as we will determine the number one contender for the United States Championship. The LA Knight picks up a win Kicking us all from Boston.
We are back live here on SmackDown. The submission specialist, Drew Gulak, is back in action here in Boston. And he is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Cruiserweight Champion of the World, the master of the 619, the greatest mask of all time, Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio has been in a role for several months here on Friday Night SmackDown. Won that title back at the Royal Rumble on January 1st. Has successfully defended it twice over Ricochet and Humberto Carrillo. Ray is back in action here in Boston. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Ray. Ray in action, he is on top of the world as the Cruiserweight Champion, but you gotta wonder where the mentality of Ray is at tonight. Over the last few weeks, his son Dominic has been targeted by Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar. That of course stemming after Santos Escobar tried to get ahead earlier on in the night before his match with Dominic two weeks ago, attacked him in the backstage area, but then later on in the evening, lost to Dominic inside of the ring. Last week, Santos Escobar targeted Dominic Mysterio again after a loss to Tyler Bate. You gotta wonder what's been going through Escobar's head as well. Is it a Dominic issue or is he trying to get the attention of the Cruiserweight Champion? Well, we'll tell in due time, but as for Rey Mysterio, nothing short of successful as of late as we mentioned. Winning that Cruiserweight Championship back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble, ending the reign of the one and only Ricochet. Retained it against Ricochet. And it's Royal Rumble rematch here on SmackDown. And a few weeks back prior to the Elimination Chamber, Ray retained the gold over Los Lotharios Humberto Carrillo. Ray back in action tonight against Drew Gulak. Big opportunity for Gulak, former Cruiserweight champion in his own right. Ray is coming out swinging after the opening bell. Motivated as ever, even at this stage in his career. Celebrating 21 years here in World Wrestling Entertainment. And Ray is better than ever inside of the squared circle. Drew Gulak down and out to start this matchup, but the Cruiserweight Champion ain't letting the foot off the pedal. Where will Rey Mysterio end up come WrestleMania? Cruiserweight Championship, I'm sure, will be on the line between Saturday and Sunday night. Who is going to step up to fight Rey Mysterio? Could very well be Drew Gulak if he's able to upset the champion tonight. Drew Gulak going for a nice Saito there on the Cruiserweight Champion. If anybody can ground Rey Mysterio and keep him from all that high-flying offense, you got to look at Drew Gulak, a mat technician, a submission specialist, and as we mentioned, a former Cruiserweight champion himself. Been to the top of the Cruiserweight division in the past. I'm sure Gulak would love to do it again here on SmackDown. And Mysterio trying to get back into this. Goes for a shot on Gulak there. Gulak able to sidestep it. There's a counter by Mysterio. Now whipping Gulak off. Ray's looking good right now. Gulak able to block it, however. Oh, no. Look at this. It's got Ray all kinds of tied up, and down goes the champion. Gulak could be on the verge of an upset here against the legendary luchador of SmackDown, Ray Mysterio. Gulak into the cover here in Boston. Ray getting the shoulder up. That was a close call there for the Cruiserweight champion. Dominic Mysterio not in the building this week after the attacks from Santos Escobar. The last number of weeks, Dominic nursing a few minor injuries. I'm sure Rey Mysterio any time now is going to want to address Santos Escobar in those attacks. Dominic's his own man. He can fight his own battles, but the push comes to shove. Rey is going to be there for Dominic. But right now, he's got Drew Gulak on the top rope. And what is Mysterio looking for here? Allowing himself to get on the shoulders of the opponent and turns around with the Frankensteiner. Beautiful maneuver by the Cruiserweight Champion who is not done dishing out some offense. Rey Mysterio sending Gulak into the ropes and I think we know what's coming. 619 by the Cruiserweight Champion. And now heading to the top rope, looking to drop the dime. Frog splash. Into the cover. Rey Mysterio with a big victory here on SmackDown. And Rey Mysterio's momentum continues to build 
week after week, month after month here on SmackDown. It has been quite some time since we have seen that man's shoulders be pinned down to the mat. The Cruiserweight Champion on top of the world and ain't slowing down anytime soon. Big victory tonight. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Speaking of Legado del Fantasma, Santos Escobar, he's in the ring and he's ambushing the cruiserweight champion, Rey Mysterio. Well, this has been the MO of Escobar over Rey's son, Dominic, for two weeks in a row. We said Dominic wasn't here this week. Rey is going in alone and Santos is targeting the cruiserweight champion of the world. Clearly, Escobar has been trying to get the attention of Rey Mysterio. Clearly the former Cruiserweight Champion wants the title yet again, and he's laid out Rey Mysterio here at the TD Garden in Boston. Will Santos Escobar get his wish? Has he gotten the attention of Rey Mysterio? Is he next in line for a Cruiserweight Championship matchup on the road to WrestleMania? Well, the action continues tonight on SmackDown as the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania, Drew McIntyre, battles the big man, Commander Aziz. Plus, the United States the Champion Bobby Lashley meets Kushida one on one in that ring. The results of those contests see Drew McIntyre continuing to build momentum towards his match with Seth Rollins on February 25th. And Bobby Lashley, the United States Champion, picks up a big victory tonight here on SmackDown. We are back live on SmackDown in the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on the road to WrestleMania is set to roll on with your final first round matchup featuring two teams from Friday Night SmackDown. Later tonight, the ring general Walter battles Tyler Bate for the number one contendership for the United States Championship. But his two partners in Imperium, Marcel Barthel, Fabian Eichner, look to battle it out with Mustafa Ali and Ricochet for the final spot in the semis on the road to WrestleMania. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 440 pounds. Marcel Bartel and Fabian Eichner Imperium. So let's take a look at the bracket thus far from Monday Night Raw. Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic as well as The New Day have moved on to the semifinals. They will meet this coming Monday. And as for SmackDown, Legato Del Fantasma moved on last week against Rick Boogs and Nakamura, and now they await their semifinal opponents. And of course, the winners of those two semifinals will meet in the finals of the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic on night one of WrestleMania. WrestleMania Saturday, February the 25th. Not only will the winners be crowned the 2023 Dusty Cup winners, but they will move on to WrestleMania Sunday, February 26th to challenge Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY for the WWE Tag Team Championships of the World. So a lot riding on each and every match here in this tournament, not only with the Dusty Cup at stake, but of course for the opportunity to battle it out with DIY for the tag team titles at the grandest stage of them all. Eichner and Bartel set for action representing Imperium. And here comes Opponent number one. And their opponents first from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Well, Mustafa Ali had an incredible 2022 career resurgence. Unfortunately, ended on a sour note as he lost his United States Championship just nine days after winning it back on December the 9th at the All-Star kickoff. Mustafa Ali was a member of the Royal Rumble matchup, a member of the Elimination Chamber a few weeks back, unfortunately coming up short in both of those opportunities. But now through the roads of the Dusty Rose Tag Team Classic has another chance to be on the marquee 
for WrestleMania. And it all starts here tonight for Ali and his tag team partner, the one and only Ricochet. A team that came together through mutual respect. These two men had battled it out in an Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup, which was won by Ali. But now both men searching for their road to WrestleMania. And through the respect and through the opportunity emerges a brand new team of the blue brand. And here comes the one, the only, Ricochet. And from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet. Ricochet held the Cruiserweight Championship from June 26th last year all the way till January 1st of this year. It was an impressive reign by that man in the blue and now with an opportunity on the horizon to possibly become the tag team champion with Mustafa Ali at WrestleMania. But they gotta get through Imperium tonight. And the winners of this matchup will meet Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza, Laredo del Fantasma next week here on SmackDown in the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. We are set to kick off your fourth and final first round match in this tournament. Bartel and Mustafa Ali. As the bell has sounded, we are underway with your co-main event on SmackDown tonight. We are gonna see the third piece to Imperium, the ring general Walter, in moments here on SmackDown as he will battle it out with Tyler Bate. Two men who got history with each other in NXT. They're gonna go one-on-one -on -one for a spot to fight Bobby Lashley on WrestleMania Sunday for the United States Championship. Martel going to the top rope, looking to show Mustafa Ali is that the only one that can take things to the sky. Remember a few weeks ago here on SmackDown, we got a little preview of this tag team matchup when Ricochet went one-on-one -on -one with Fabian Eichner. Ricochet walked away with the victory on that night. It's a little bit of momentum in the corner. This new tag team between Ali and Ricochet. And good so far. How will Imperium, former NXT Tag Team Champions, be able to take down Ali and Ricochet? Obviously a new team, now nowhere near as much chemistry as Imperium. Certainly two different styles, four incredible athletes in that ring. Very interesting to see the result of this matchup and who will fight Wild and Mendoza next week here on SmackDown. Bartel bringing Mustafa Ali into enemy territory in that corner. I'm sure Fabian Eichner has got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder waiting to get his hands on Ricochet again, as we mentioned, because of that loss a few weeks ago. Bartel's really taking it to Mustafa Ali in Imperium territory right now. And Ali is all kinds of tied up and not where he wants to be. And I went to the cover first. Will that be all here? I believe Eichner accidentally broke that thing up, or regardless, I'm sure Mustafa Ali was probably gonna kick out of it anyway. Orthel going for a power bomb, looks like here, but Ali, look at that! Frankensteiner goes into the cover, only a one count there, but a nice move by Ali to try to get back into this fight. Imperium's been controlling for the most part the last two minutes or so since this match kicked off. Ricochet now tagged in, and look at this, a little double team action there by the two high flyers. Now Bartel gonna crawl in to the Imperium corner, tag in Fabian Eichner, picking up where we left off a few weeks ago here on SmackDown, but Eichner right there to cut Ricochet's momentum down. Eichner, an incredible athlete. Tons of size and lots of power, but he knows how to take things to the sky. We were first introduced to Fabian Eichner in the WWE back in 2016, and the Cruiserweight Classic same night, or same event that we met Mustafa Ali for the first time. And Ricochet doing what he does best in there. Shooting star press, the human highlight reel, a smackdown. Looking to bring things home, but not just yet. So Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa of Raw, the WWE Tag Team Champions, have had their eyes glued on each and every matchup in this tournament, trying to scout who they just might fight on WrestleMania Sunday in the Tag Team Championships of the World. Like their own spaghetti legs like now. Ricochet bringing them into Imperium territory. Looks like Ricochet's gonna look to make a mark. Oh, wait a minute. 
There's a nice counter by Eichner. Ricochet battles it out. Double knees by the one and only. And goes to follow it up with a senton, but Eichner gets out of the way. And Slayton and Ricochet's head down on the canvas. Gotta keep your eyes on the former Cruiserweight champion, though. Can't keep him down for long. Backslide into the cover. Not just yet. And we have got a good one here in the final matchup in the first round of the Dusty Tag Team Classic 2023 edition. Eichner slamming down Ricochet. They get back into this match, showcase a little bit of that power. Ricochet knows he can pin Eichner. He did it a few weeks ago. Will he do it again tonight? Nice springboard there by the human highlight reel as Eichner going to tag in Bartel and Ricochet going to tag in Ali. Couple of fresh legs for both sides while Eichner is down and out on the outside and it may be a good opportunity for Ali to try to put this thing away. Hit with a drop kick, follows it up, taking off, please, taking, excuse me, Barthel off his feet. There's a counter there by Marcel. Now up on the shoulders, Ali goes down. And Imperium may be moving on to the second round. Didn't go for the cover though, and that might be a mistake by Marcel Bartel. As Ali has been able to get back into this. All with the opportunity to fight on the grandest stage of them all on the line. All with the opportunity to win the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. All for the opportunity to meet the Tag Team Champions on WrestleMania Sunday. Into the cover. And Eichner breaking things up there. Almost had it, did Ali. Oh, look at this, Eichner. Better watch what he picks off as Ali takes him out with the DDT. Marcel is down yet again. And we're left to almost a handicap match, at least simultaneously here. Just as we were a moment ago, and Ali with the forearm, and follows it up with a super kick. Ali now heading to the top rope. Just like he does best. We, all right, we, we apologize for the technical difficulties there, but Mustafa Ali dropping the leg drop on Marcel Barthel. Ricochet has been tagged in, and these two highlight reels looking to take down Imperium, but Marcel's got something else in mind. What a strong forearm there by Imperium's Marcel Barthel. Will the former NXT Tag Team Champions be able to outlast these two high flyers? Or Ricochet and Ali operating on a higher frequency right now? Marcel has taken a lot of offense these last few minutes by Ricochet and Ali. There's another counter by the one and only. Goes for a chop, able to duck it. Marcel obviously the bigger, a little bit stronger competitor. Lifting up Ricochet and suplexes him down on the canvas. Into the cover he goes, but I think that might be a rope break there, and yes it is. Gotta watch those feet dangling under the ropes just a little bit. It's gonna cause a save by the rope situation by Ricochet. He goes for the neck breaker again, but Marcel's able to counter it. And out goes behind, and this is where Imperium works at its best when they pick apart their opponent. The technical wrestling of Eichner and Barthel. Fabian Eichner back in. Wants his win back versus Ricochet from a few weeks ago, but there's a counter by the one and only who sends Eichner into the corner and a clothesline there by Ricochet. Now goes for a senton. He looked for that earlier. This time actually connects. Who will fight Legado Del Fantasma next week here on SmackDown? Recall knee by Ricochet. Into the cover. And Imperium's wish to move on to the semis does not get granted. The one and only, and the heart and soul of Friday Night SmackDown punch their ticket to the semifinals of the 2023 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Very competitive matchup here tonight in Boston. Ali and Ricochet outlast Imperium tonight, and they are one step closer to WrestleMania. And there is the bracket so far, and there's the update. Ricochet and Ali will meet Joaquin Wilde and Raul Mendoza next week on SmackDown. And this Monday on Raw, Priest and Dijakovic versus The New Day. Who is going to WrestleMania?
It is coming up on February the 8th. It is a live premiere, Raw and SmackDown joint production, 5 p.m. Eastern time. It is Saturday night's main event. And on that night, we will determine the number one contender for Pete Dunne's Intercontinental Championship from Raw as the invincible Ilya Dragunov battles it out with the New Day's Big E for the first time ever. Also coming up on Saturday night's main event, the man who will fight the beast Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, the Nigerian giant, Omos, battles it out with his former Hurt Business tag team partner, Cedric Alexander. It is a grudge to be settled from Friday Night SmackDown, Falls Count Anywhere matchup. Happy Baron Corbin battles it out with the strange and unusual Dexter Loomis. As we mentioned, Falls Count Anywhere. And in the main event, Matt Riddle's WrestleMania opportunity is on the line. Austin Theory wants his chance to fight Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Riddle is just tough enough to put it on the line one-on-one -on, -one on the 8th of February. And coming up, WrestleMania, a live premiere weekend, Saturday night, February 25th, and Sunday night, February the 26th, 5 p.m. Eastern time on both nights for the grandest stage of them all. And ladies and gentlemen, earlier today, Robert Roode had this to say on Twitter regarding last week's actions against John Cena. He said, why did I distract John Cena last week? Simple, he's the franchise, right? That means he has a guaranteed spot on WrestleMania. Well, I want the other one. I want to stand across the ring from Cena in Tampa Bay. You want payback, John. Face me at WrestleMania and get your payback. Last week, Robert Roode distracting John Cena in the midst of a match with the World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins completely changed the tide of the main event. Cena came up short due to the distraction. Robert Roode did it all by design. Will Cena accept Roode's WrestleMania challenge? We'll have to find out next week here on SmackDown. But it is time for your main event to determine the number one contender for Bobby Lashley's United States Championship on WrestleMania Sunday. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler. Well, ever since joining Friday Night SmackDown back in December, Tyler Bate has given us some amazing moments and matches inside of that ring. But his first big victory coming just last week here on SmackDown and a victory over Legado del Fantasma Santos Escobar, which was a rematch from about a month ago when the two men fought it out and Tyler Bate had his foot on the ropes. The ref never saw it. So Tyler Bate, after that victory against Escobar last week, finds himself with a huge opportunity but he's got a huge obstacle standing in his way on the road to WrestleMania. Could the former NXT, and most importantly, first ever NXT, United Kingdom champion in Tyler Bate, fight it out with the almighty Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship of the Show of Shows? We will find out in due time, but first he's got to get through the undefeated ring general. The man who held that same NXT United Kingdom Championship for 870 days. These two men, no strangers to each other, set to reignite an old rivalry tonight in Boston. The ring, General Walter versus Tyler Bate. The United States Championship opportunity hangs in the balance. This is going to be an instant classic. We will not forget anytime soon in your main event here on SmackDown. And his opponent representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, Walter. Walter has raked up several victories since he made his Friday Night SmackDown debut the same night Tyler Bate did. December the 9th, MGM Grand, Las Vegas, Nevada, at the SmackDown All-Star kickoff to end 2022. Walter has been undefeated ever since and now finds himself with the same opportunity as the man across the ring. Again, these two men, no strangers to each other and they will hold nothing back with the United States Championship opportunity hanging in the balance. It's been a great night of action here on SmackDown thus far. Thank you so much for joining us just 19 days away from WrestleMania weekend. 
which will be the grand finale for WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, and we will roll in to WWE 2K23 bigger, badder, and better than ever before on Raw and SmackDown. As we mentioned earlier tonight, be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe on the road to 1,000 subscribers, which means more content for the nation. But here we go. Walter, Tyler Bate, the main event of SmackDown here in Boston. This would be a very hard-hitting matchup between the ring general and Tyler. As Tyler Bate knows Walter well. He knows how to take Walter off his feet. He knows how to push him to his limits. Walter, again, has been undefeated since he joined Friday Night SmackDown. Tyler Bate finally just got that big first victory last week. How will that favor in to this matchup here as Walter unloading with Tyler Bate with some strikes and Bate able to send Walter, the big man, over the top rope. Bate is confident tonight. He's been in there with the ring general before. He knows it's not going to be any easy task, but the confidence is there for the first ever NXT United Kingdom champion. A man who has held NXT Tag Team Gold as well. We're going to add the United States Championship to his resume at WrestleMania. Bobby Lashley victorious earlier tonight against Kushida. Just recently here on SmackDown defended the United States Championship successfully over Jeff Hardy in an open challenge. Next time we will see Lashley put the gold on the line, however, will be WrestleMania against one of these two men. On Sunday night, February the 26th, WrestleMania Sunday, Walter might have just taken Tyler Bate and pushed him over the edge. What a clothesline that was by the ring general. Tyler Bate cannot allow Walter to rest like that and have enough room for that full steam ahead momentum. Walter trying to unload on Bate. There's a nice counter, but I don't know if you want to trade chops with the ring general. Tyler hit him one, Walter one up then and hit him even harder. Tyler Bate is dazed and confused right now. He's got to be feeling the punishment of all the strikes Walter has thrown his way thus far in this main event. This is no doubt for Tyler Bate. He is no doubt going to be Walter's biggest test is joining Friday Night SmackDown as he once again sends Walter to the outside. And that may be part of the strategy to wear the bigger competitor down. Let him fall down from the ring to the floor. Let that damage level up. Maybe try to outrun him as well as Walter gets back in or head back into the ring. Tyler Bate going to go after him here. And my goodness, again, Walter with that big boop at Tyler Bate's speed able to avoid disaster again. Tyler Bate, a cruiserweight competitor. We've seen him contest for the cruiserweight championship before. I was back in his SmackDown debut at the All-Star kickoff. Obviously came up short. That may be Tyler's, another one of his best you know, ways to defeat Walter tonight is using his quickness ability against the bigger competitor. Walter, obviously a harder striker and obviously has the power over Tyler, as we just saw right there with that overhead throw. Whips him into the corner. What has the ring general got in mind? I'm sure he's feeling some type of way, trying to bring a win to the Imperium locker room after Eichner and Barthel just fell out of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. We will not see them competing at WrestleMania, but will we see Walter competing in Tampa Bay? Another throw to Tyler Bate. Walter taking a minute to soak it in here in Boston. A lot weighs on the line. Walter knows that, and he's going to continue the offense over Tyler. And the strikes in this matchup. He is just a loading on Tyler Bate, and how Bate is absorbing these blows, at least the best of his abilities here. At some point, the damage is going to start to pile up. It's a bare knee by Walter. Right to the chrome dome of Tyler Bate. And again, oh, go for a suplex. Tyler Bate able to counter. Nice counter there. A little bit of an uppercut. Let's see if Bate can get back into this over the ring, General. Taking it to the gut. Does it again. He knows how to take the big man off his feet. But there's the power by Walter. Able to outstrength his opponent, and Tyler Bate eats the canvas for dinner. So the United States champion Bobby Lashley is looking on. Looking at his two opponents for WrestleMania. 
a man who is bigger than Bobby Lashley. I don't know about stronger, but he's certainly taller than Bobby Lashley and one of the hardest hitters in world wrestling entertainment. Would he rather face? Oh my goodness, did you see the drop kick by Walter? As I was gonna mention, would he rather face Walter? Was, would Tyler Bay possibly offer Bobby Lashley a different sort of competition that he hasn't fought recently? High flyer with technical ability. Tyler Bay has a great style of offense inside of that ring. Either way, it is going to be a challenge for Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania. And yeah, Walter, this is physicality at its highest form right now. The drop kick a few moments ago, and then those bare knees to the side of the head of Tyler Bay into the cover by Walter there. And Tyler Bay barely, just barely able to get the shoulder off the canvas. No enthusiasm on that kick out. Just rolled it up just enough to be able to survive another moment in this main event. Walter continues the fight. Swing neck breaker, goes for the clothesline. What a counter by Tyler Bate. Goes underneath. German snoop suplex, excuse me. And now Bate going for the submission hold, not watching the ring awareness, but it was at least back in the driver's seat for a moment. Oh no, and now Tyler Bate. Taking one of his friend Pete Dunn's book and snapping the fingers of the ring general. And now Tyler Bate able to flip the big man over. Reverse Boston Crab here in Massachusetts. Will Walter be tapping out for the first time on SmackDown? Not just yet as he takes the legs out from under him. And goes for the clothesline. It spins Tyler Bate inside out again. Business is picking up. And this number one contenders match for the United States Championship. Big boot by Tyler, or excuse me, by Walter to Tyler Bate. And Bate is all kinds of confused as he just gets his lifeless body sent halfway across the ring. And I'll put atop the ropes here. And what the hell does the ring general got in mind? Oh no. Could be looking. And he's going to deliver a superplex to Tyler Bate. Walter is putting on a showcase of brutality tonight here in Boston. Tyler's got to get back into this now or never, but Walter just pulls him in with another clothesline. And Bateman has showed his best hands in this matchup as Walter could be looking to put this thing away. Power bomb. Oh, could be looking for another one. A power bomb symphony by the ring general. Into the cover, all three emphatic power slams. Into the cover again. Walter is going to WrestleMania. Well, that was one hell of a fight in your main event. Tyler Bay gave it his all, but the physicality by the ring general, too much for the first ever NXT United Kingdom champion to handle here in Boston. That submission hold may have been Tyler Bates' last ditch effort. Walter had it scouted and he put Tyler Bates away after that powerbomb symphony, dead center of the squared circle. Here is your winner, Walter. Well, what a night of action here at the TD Garden in Boston. Friday Night SmackDown continues to roll on on the road to WrestleMania. But after that win, it is signed, sealed, and official. WrestleMania Sunday, the United States Championship will be on the line. First time ever, Bobby Lashley, Walter, one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you for joining us here on SmackDown, and we'll see you on Saturday night's main event. Good night, everybody. Game pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm around.